the number one question I get asked is, why the hell did you not vote out Sam when you had the chance? Now, and why did you end up going to the Trader's Dilemma? This is, this has, has sort of um, many layers to it. So on the Simone vote, I wrote down Sam, Blake wrote down Sam, and the others all freaking frustratingly flipped and wrote Simone. Now that was my one time I really wanted to get Sam out. And then I became a trader. We played, we tried again. Um, but one thing about Sam, hmm, okay. Now, if, as you would probably know, um, if you're watching these, it's because you really love the traders um, and you would have seen the UK version. Now, if a trader does get banished, they get an opportunity to stand in front of the group and they get to speak. And I could just imagine Sam frothing. If we actually voted him out for me as a trader, um, he would turn just like Kieran's parting gift to the group with Wilf in the UK series, I was really aware that if I wrote down Sam and he did get banished, he would throw me and Blake under the bus. So I explored some uh, other options. So not only under the bus, like I can't explain, he's, he's just full on. He's just hardcore and would be frothing, absolutely frothing. So I needed to have some, some control. So I did approach Blake Blake, it's time, mate. We write down Sam, you and me, push it to the end, banish the other faithfuls, just share, mate. Did he want a bar of that? No, it's it's like, he just was like, no, stick to the plan. And our plan from Traders Tower was, let's just three stick together. Um, and this is why I knew they wanted me, because I was a sharer, because that first night at Traders Tower, it was, you know what, let's banish, let's murder, let's banish, let's protect each other. And they needed me. So don't say I didn't deserve to be at the end because when Sam said you don't deserve to, you know, you should have written Richard Chair. Guess what, mate? You wouldn't have been there if I wasn't recruited and I protected you because the faithfuls were, those last three faithfuls were so close. They were on to it. Now, Liam, down to the final five was adamant. Camille, you're a trader. Sam, you're a trader. I'm only going to focus on one, which is a smart, that's smart because unlike Annabelle and Luke, when they went guns blazing at that banishment and gave us too much information about Sam and Blake, we could only have one vote that night and it was too much. But anyway, that's for another video. Um, you only focus on one. We've only got one bullet, right? One name to write at banishment. So Liam's like, we're gonna do Sam. I'm gonna go for Sam first and you're second, Camille. So I was never gonna team up with Liam and Sarah. Really could not trust Liam and Sarah to not then vote me and Blake jump on board for that. Um, the viewers saw Liam say, Camille and Sam, you're the traitors by the chimney. So we had to get rid of Liam. Yes, they were flaky. Yes, they were unreliable. But for me to maintain the control I needed to block them winning and the possibility that Blake might write share, that was my reasoning for going to the traitor's dilemma with two other traitors because I still had some control and I could not relinquish that control, hand it over to Liam, hand it over to Sarah, even Blake, just no backbone. So to answer the question, why the hell did you go to Trader's Dilemma? That's why.